Hi, my name is Tony Crudo, and I currently work with At Risk Youth. And my biggest inspiration, I would say, would have to be my mom. She's my biggest cheerleader. She's the person with the biggest heart that I know. Um, and she has the most tremendous work ethic that I've ever seen in a person. Um, I can remember vividly growing up with my mom. Um, my mom suffered from certain health complications, um, one of them being sleep acumen, um, which causes the lack of oxygen to get to her brain, so it will cause her to fall asleep during random times throughout the day. Um, and this is the time where my mom was going to back to school to get her bachelor's degree. And there were times where she would take me to school with her, and I remember vividly um, being next to her as she's taking down notes from throughout the lecture um, of her falling asleep and not having control over her body, um, but giving her a nudge so she can get back and get focused, and she would get up and make it happen. And, my mom carried a recorder, like a very old school recorder. Um, she would have that recording the lectures because she knew that she was going to fall asleep and miss some information. So she carried a recorder and recorded all of the lectures that she went. And I can remember being home, playing at the table as a young kid, and seeing her going over the notes, going over the information, and replaying the recorder, and hearing herself fall asleep. And that would, I can see the way it made her feel of you know that having that complication that she had no control over. And the biggest triumphal that I've seen of like I've had the ability to experience was watching her graduate, watching her getting her bachelor's degree. It took maybe about six years, but it doesn't matter because they don't say dates anywhere on your degree anywhere. And she made it through and it was a great summer for our family because not only did she graduate with her bachelor's degree, I was graduating high school. My sister was graduating college as well. So it was a very triumphal moment for all of us just to see where we've been to now see where we're going to go and it was a skill that I've learned from my mom and I've taken with me everywhere and something I'll be forever grateful for and something that constantly pushes me to this. Does anyone looking for that inspiration? Uh, continue to push through their adversity and don't let it stop you. Allow that to take you to wherever it is you wish to go in life. Rather, you're a parent with children and you're looking to get back into school. Take them to school with you, especially if you don't have a babysitter or if you're a person who have an incurable disease or who's suffering from some kind of health complications that's, that's making your route a little bit longer than what it should be or in comparison to anybody else. Allow that to be your light and shine through whatever person you're going through.